So we start this vlog off with a bike sale, 80 bucks. I bought that bike at a garage sale for 30. I wanted to make more on it, but still 80 bucks cash. That was a red line, cross town, interesting looking bike. Let's start the vlog now. On well, the previous vlog, we saw this bike and I bought it for 150. So I think someone's gonna come buy it today for 325. So it'd be about 175 in profit. It did take me an hour of my life to get this bike and then I spent about 30 minutes because I had to put an entire inner tube into it. So um, yeah, hour and 30 minutes of my life and 175 profit, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, this is a Trek Alpha 1.5. Pretty cool aluminum bike, road bike of course. Very entry level and uh, someone should be coming here in like 10 minutes to pick it up. We'll see if they pick it up though. All right, looks like the person has just arrived. Let's get and just like that, we have 340 bucks. I gave him $15 change, which makes 325. So pretty good bike flip right there, but it would have been better if I didn't invest all that time in that one, but whatever, it's all good. All right, so I just got done with a little business meeting with my uh, business partner for Radical Life. We're getting super, super, super close to like launching this thing. But I caught word on Facebook Messenger. Someone messaged me about a bike that has been in a previous vlog. I picked it up for, I didn't think it was in the vlog right before this, anyway. I picked it up for 160 bucks. It's listed for 425 and someone's coming, apparently with cash. Now they're probably gonna offer me 400 or something like that. I'm trying not to put this energy out there, but realistically, I think that's what they're gonna probably offer. Uh, let's go look at the bike. This is a specialized pitch. This is a mountain bike, it's pretty cool. It's not quite entry level, but it's, you know, maybe mid-level mountain bike, front suspension. And it does have internal cable routing. As you can see, the cables go inside the frame. So that's a pretty good thing. Uh, you know, you'll find it on mid-tier bikes. Um, nice fat tires, which is cool. Very wide kind of bar up here, short stem, which is very current day geometry. And this is a size medium with specialized. So yeah, this is a pretty cool bike. And uh, on the open market, new, these are about six to $800. So, you know, finding one for 425 is actually a pretty good deal. And it being a medium, it means it could probably be shared between adults and kiddos. And I think that's what the guy's coming for. He's coming to get a bike that he could share with his kiddo. So uh, we should have someone coming here. Hopefully it's 425 cash and we'll get a bike sold today. Okay, we sold it for $375. There's money right here. And I must have just put that out in the universe because man, he talked me down 50 bucks, but it's okay. Made 215 bucks on that bike flip, so that wasn't too bad. He was good at bargaining. He was really good. He was like bona fide hustler good. Well, not that good, but he was good. That's all I gotta say about that. So I'm at the antique mall and I'm picking up some of the first checks that we have, which was pretty good. Um, you know, the booth is doing okay. It's not the greatest, but it's also summertime. And like, a lot of people are gone and on trips. But let's go check out the booth. So here's the side of the booth right here. And it's looking pretty good. I can actually walk in here, which is nice. Make sure this stool goes over there. I tidy up a little bit, but nothing super crazy. Big mirror is still here. And there's something I have to pull and bring home, but I know it's somewhere around here. I think it's a beer mirror. And I don't know where it is now. It could be behind this thing, which would suck. Oh my gosh, is it back there? Is there a mirror back there? I don't know. I'm looking for this bee feeder mirror. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Early morning wild cardio. You know how it is. Man, I got nine and a half hours of sleep yesterday or last night. I feel absolutely incredible. First one spotted, we got a ribbon right here just off the trail. Look at this. Pretty cool snake. I'd go grab them, but uh, they're extremely fast. They feel kind of silky. Yeah, it's a pretty cool snake. Whoosh. All right, we're at the next day and I popped on something really cool for 40 bucks, personal keeping. Check it out. It's on top of my car right now. Now I did have to strap it right here until I figured out how to ratchet it on my actual rack and everything. But it's pretty cool, 40 bucks. Fully adventurer. I'll probably have to order some keys because it can lock, but I need the, you know, the right keys. They lost their set, but this thing's pretty awesome. Perfect for neighborhood wide garage sale season. Extra storage on top of the small spaceship. That's what I'm talking about. I dive right over here. Awesome. <laughs> so it was a good Saturday, and obviously you saw some of that footage, which was really fun. But more importantly, 
while I was at, actually after I came home from the Springs, I looked at Facebook Marketplace and there was this stellar deal for 200 bucks. I offered the guy 160, then I thought about it a little bit more and I was like, you know what, this is stupid. I have 200 bucks, I can come right now. And I got myself a full suspension specialized camber that has been used maybe less than 20 times or so. This bike is awesome and it could probably sell between 1,000 and 1,500 bucks. Now I do need to order a part for the front wheel. It's called a quick release, a 15 millimeter a uh, quick release skewer, but um, that's probably gonna be like 10 bucks on Amazon. Uh, I'm probably gonna take about two weeks of downtime and then I'll repost it. But this is an amazing bike. I can't wait to get more into it, but it looks really good. This morning was garage sale Saturday on this video. I didn't go to garage sales because it only looked like there were maybe one or two. And I don't know, when there's one or two and they're really far apart, I was just thinking on the side of maybe I should just sleep in and get some sleep, which is really important. Um, obviously I could have found some things maybe, but also I got guaranteed sleep. So I took a maybe versus a guarantee and I was like, I want more sleep. It's good. And I was able to ride with my friends, get out in the sunshine, and then it just started pouring super hard. And now we got a storm coming around. Okay. So here's the bike from yesterday. And as you can see, the front wheel is not on it, but here's also an, but here's also an Amazon prime piece that I think we need. It's called a through axle. It's sitting in here. And it's the piece that goes in between here and puts the front wheel on. It didn't come with the bike, but uh, yeah. After that, this bike is basically going to be in saleable condition from what I can see right now. I scanned it for cracks and everything like that, and it looks great. But I do believe that this bike is going to sell somewhere between a G and 1500. I don't know what I said, you know, moments ago in the vlog, but, you know, overviewing it a little bit more, I think it's a thousand, about $1,500 sale. It's an extra large and it's been used less than 20 times. So, Hey, look, I'm in the mirror back there. You see that? Oh, that looks good. Oh, uh, we got to flex the back a little bit. We got to flex. Oh, that looks good. Okay, so yeah, this is exciting because it's always cool to get into a bike that's going to yield, you know, pretty big profit down the line. I'll probably end up getting it flipped in about two weeks. That's what I'm thinking right now. I just like this because we don't get bikes like this all the time. In fact, here is an example of a bike that we picked up for 300 bucks, right? This is called a Reeb. Uh, Squeeb, I want to say. It's a V2 or a V3. Um, but this bike right here is 300 bucks, and it's probably going to sell for like $1,000 to $1,500 as well. Super, super amazing mountain bike. Way better than the one I just bought. But still, it's Reeb, meaning it's a brand that's a little bit harder to sell because it's more boutique brand. Whereas this one, which is Specialized, right? This Camber Comp, everyone knows Specialized. It's the, I think it's the greatest brand ever. So, yeah. After that, after this piece goes in, should be really good to go. Okay, we are further down the vlog and we have this bike right here, which I picked up for 20 bucks, I think four or five days ago. And it's a Live Sedona DX. It's a women's specific frame, step through, so you can have a skirt on and you can, you know, step right through it. But anyway, it's a pretty cool bike. It's a hybrid bike and should sell for, I think 200 or maybe 180. Just got back from a ride myself. And so, yeah, it's nice to get a message on Facebook Marketplace, you know, inquiring about the bike. And so, See if we can get it sold. Person's on their way. It should be here in 30 minutes. The person's here. Let's go get some money. I'm not going to shift right now. I'm just going to see. If it yeah, fits take, it to the, take it to the bottom of that. then. Um, yeah. And just like that, we have 200 bucks for that $20 bike I picked up four or five days ago. We're officially in the next day, and I got a bike up top. Don't know if you can see it, but anyway, uh, meeting somebody that's, uh, I don't know, 10 minutes away from my house at a mountain biking trail, actually, but I'm not going to ride today. And uh, that person's interested in this bike that I have up top. I think I'm either free into this bike or 20 bucks into this bike, like pretty much nothing. Um, and I think it's listed for 180. So pretty cool bike, actually. I was, I was getting it for a beater bike. So when I go to the Springs and if something happens, then I wouldn't be out of a whole lot of money. But you know, at the end of the day, I don't want a beater bike to cost me also 180 bucks. So if that's what it represents, then I need to make sure that it you know sells. I want to have a real beater bike. So this bike was actually kind of cool. It's a Trek uh, 7500FX, and we're gonna get it sold. I'll show you when I pull up. It's about 100 degrees out here, and uh, there's the bike. Trek 7500FX, I'm pretty sure this was a free bike, to be honest now, but it's pretty cool. You know, it's a good low commuter, uh, urban hybrid commuter bike. Um, yeah, it does the job, it has an adjustable stem too, which is kind of cool, but it can fit a wide range of, it can fit a wide range of heights. So it's probably meant for it to be a medium, but with all this setup and everything, with that seat all the way up, I, I could even ride it. So pretty cool bike. And uh, Trek's a good brand, but this is the old style logo. So 
you know, to sell this thing for 180 is actually really good. You know, I would even take 150 for it today. It's so hot. I'm gonna get back in the car until this person like meets me. Oh my god. All right, got the bike sold for 150 bucks. Hey, that's pretty good. I was expecting 180 or 150. I'll take 150. Okay, so we are, I think, at the next day, and uh, something interesting sold on eBay that I found for like a dollar at a garage sale. It was interesting because I was at this garage sale. This is probably two months ago, maybe three. And, and this makes us, this will make sense here in a second because you might be wondering like, why is it taking you three months to sell something that cool, you know? Um, so I was at this garage sale and the people were like, look, you know, grab as much stuff and we'll make a deal at the end. Now, when I hear those kind of words, it's usually signifying like, this is gonna be a really good deal. So you amass a bunch of stuff. And then I kind of do a test run, like, you know, I make up a half pile and I ask them like, you know, what do you think for this? And then they'll give me a price and then I'll evaluate. I'm like, okay, is that pretty good? Or is that like ridiculously good? And then from there, I might go into what's called <laughs> drain mode, which I just try to drain the garage sale of anything profitable and I'll just throw it onto a pile. So at this garage sale, I did that, made a small pile, asked a question like how much for this, then I realized like, wow, they're really trying to get rid of stuff. And then I made a ginormous pile. And this one item, which I'm flashing right here, was a vintage like cycling flag. Um, it was a dollar, you know, it was real nice. Um, and it's one of a kind. And I went long tail on this item. I first listed it for $300, then I reduced it to 200, then 150 on eBay, and then found a buyer today at 150. So yeah, pretty, pretty cool sale. So that has to be out tomorrow. And then I have a person coming up to pick a bike right, pick up a bike right now that I bought for 30 bucks. I think this one's listed for 180, maybe 200. I know I just don't remember these things, but I have a lot of bikes, you know? So um, I don't remember half of the prices. Um, I tend to go down on the bikes 20 bucks like every two weeks and I repost things. But yeah, we got someone coming to look at this Genesis Coda bike out there that was probably from three vlogs ago. And it was, yeah, it was 30 bucks and it needed air in the tires. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, that was it. So yeah, air in the tires and I cleaned the frame and it was pretty easy. So a lot of bikes are kind of like that. Um, they'll just need air in the tires and you know, you run through the shifters. If the shifters are gummed up, I use WD-40, you know, um, and that usually loosens a lot of stuff up in the shifter cavity, you know, which is on the handlebar. Outside of that, had a great workout today and I gotta do some more work right now, but I have someone to pick up this bike. I'm trying to find more bikes. It's just a little hard to do and it's hundred degrees outside. So when they come available, I mean, I have to be looking 20 or 30 times a day. Things on the back has rapid fire shifters so like basically you would shift up like this and then you would click down like that she's riding the bike around and see if we get it sold shadow weather baby okay i think we have 180 which is my original prediction of what this bike was we have 100 right here and 80 right there bikes to bucks has struck again so you know just rinse and repeat try to find more of these things not hard to do all right we're further along in the day it's clearly really hot outside but I'm um, about to sell another bike that I found on a previous vlog for 50 bucks. So I took a rear rack off this bike. It's got a couple other things. I think it needed a tube, but it's a pretty good bike. It's a Specialized Cirrus. So you might see this bike often on this channel. It's a hybrid bike made by Specialized and great brand. And here it is. On that vlog, this bike looked absolutely terrible. So we did put a new seat on it. Not a new seat, but you know, I find these from garage sales for like a dollar. Then I swap them over when they need it. Um, yeah, it had absurdly, absurdly, like small bars on it. So I had a bar laying around, threw that on there. And uh, yeah, it's a brown frame, Specialized Cirrus. This is a medium technically, and it's an aluminum bike, pretty fast bike. I've inflated the tires to about 60 PSI and it operates pretty good. I don't remember if I put a tube, but I might've put a tube in this bike, I'm not sure. But either way, yeah, this is gonna sell for I think 190. Now estimated that it was gonna sell for like 250 or so, but you know, when there's a chance in a day to make an extra 140 profit, because I bought it for 50, selling it for 190. I mean, I'm gonna take that. Now, I did look at my bike stock in the back and it's getting, it's, you know, it's coming down significantly. So I, I definitely need to find more. And it's, it's getting a little harder just because I think people are on vacation and stuff like that. But I'm gonna have to put in a lot more work into finding more. But, but yeah, bikes sell really well. Unfortunately, in the thrift stores in town, all the bikes are marked up now for the most part. Um, so to find one's kind of like a rare beast now in a thrift store. But Facebook Marketplace is usually where I find most of the bikes and garage sales and yard sales. I think the people are coming here, but I see a Volkswagen bug coming down the street. This is probably a terrible idea for a bike. I'm pretty sure they're coming here.
Yeah, so they pulled up in that car and they did buy the bike, but they had a bike rack, so they installed it like after. It's kind of weird, but they put it on the trunk. Made sense. 190 bucks right here. <sighs> Second bike's the bucks of the day. I think that'll be the only one. I think that'll be the last one today. Uh, it's gotta be. I'm just gonna try to find some more. All right, next day, and we're going to the Goodwill bins today. It's a bit uncharacteristic for me, but let's see what we find. Okay, so now in the vlog, it's kind of interesting because I'm actually garage selling right now. I'm stitching all this weird stuff together. How's my hair look? I woke up like an hour and a half ago. And also from a garage sale, you see how there's a bunch of boots right there? Well, some of those are Fry harness boots. And then this one is a Durango harness boot right here. And, uh, you know, these are great sellers. This Durango one's probably gonna sell for like a hundred bucks, but all the other Fry ones are probably gonna sell between one and like maybe 250. Um, those are authentic Fry harness boots, like the black one you can kind of see right there. Um, they're in great condition. The black, I mean, all the other ones are pretty much mint. They're, they're basically like no use to them. So that was a good score. And I bought all that stuff for 90 bucks, the tooled leather purse on top. That was an extra six bucks. So $96 at an estate sale. Pretty neat, and uh, we got a garage sale right here. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but that's what we're doing right now. We're just going garage sailing, and I think I have two more, and I'm just gonna go home, drop some stuff off. So yeah, let's go see what we can find here. Hello. All right, so we're in the garage right now, and here are some boots that I found like last weekend. That's irrelevant, but here's that tooled leather purse. It's pretty cool. It's sitting here in this bin, and I'm probably gonna ask about 50 to like 80 bucks in the new booth for this. So yeah, this was basically, I don't know, six bucks, nothing crazy. Here are the actual boots that I bought today. So that's Fry, that's Fry, that's Fry. And then come to figure out, this is actually Durango. But man, it looks so identical. So this is probably not gonna have as good a resale as the Fry boots. And it's pretty cool because there's, you know, harness uh, models as well, but there's some with different kinds of like trim. So the ones with more trim and the ankle thing in the back, I suspect will be worth more than something like this with a very basic ankle strap in the back. Anyway, so pretty cool boots, very good condition. Check this out. That's what I'm talking about right there. Look at this one right here. Pretty good, right? They all look so good. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. That looks brand new. Anyway, so nice scores at garage sales this morning. I am just processing so much stuff here in the garage. There's just stuff everywhere. So yeah, I've got to put stuff in boxes and get it where it belongs. Oh my gosh. I've been meaning to do this. I've just been lazy. Not lazy. I just had other things to do. And so now I'm just going to knock it out real quick while my mind's focusing on it. All right. So I'm done with a gym workout um, and we're a couple of days down the road. And it's kind of crazy because it's like 100 degrees outside. It's got to be 100 degrees. It's so hot. Um, but someone's coming over to my house to do a porch pickup. Not really a porch pickup. I'm actually running over there to give them or sell them a parka of all things. In the middle of summertime here in Austin, Texas, someone is buying a parka. I think this person is very smart because what better time to buy a parka than the hottest time of the year? So anyway, uh, that person's coming. It was originally going to be a porch pickup, but uh, I guess I could be there. Oh yeah, and I didn't put the thing out on the porch. So yeah, I have to go home now. Um, but it's so close to my gym that I can go to the house, you know? But it's interesting, you know? The parka in the middle of summer, okay. It's pretty, yeah. okay. I'll get that money. Now this parka, I think was $10 at a garage sale. I'm selling it for $70 locally. Decent cheddar. All right, here's the parka right here. It's a North Face parka, bought it for 10 bucks. Garage sale, selling for 70 locally. Let's get it done. All right, 70 bucks right there. Okay, so that's the end of the vlog and I didn't record an ending, but I'm just editing this stuff and I wanna make sure I get it out. So if you enjoyed this video, you gotta do me one solid thing because times are getting a little bit harder to do editing. And uh, you know, if you're loving the vlogs, you have to hit the like button and try to put a comment down below. We gotta get the engagement up on this channel and a couple other things, but putting a comment and liking the video helps me out so much. We'll see you on the next one. Take it easy and happy hustling to everyone out there. Take it, I already said that. Goodbye.